Well, hello everyone. You tuned into my half of blessings. I'm the King of Lamb 14. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with my voice today. It seems like I'm trying to be hoarse. But um, anyway, um, I was uh, I got a request to do the Sanaya Lathan hairstyle that I did the last time. I did. I had micro braids when um I did the hairstyle. So I decided to show you how you can do the same hairstyle um on your relaxed hair or natural hair or whatever. So, um, I'm going to tell you what I did last night. Last night, uh, before I went to bed. I just, um, sprayed a little bit of spritz. Just a little bit of spritz on my hair. And I brushed all of my hair up in the top, as you can see. And I put a ponytail, uh, hold around it. And I plaited my hair and wrapped it around. And just hair pinned it down. So I got one, I got a ball right here on the top of my head. It's all this is my hair. Uh, the bangs, on the other hand, um, I didn't want to cut my hair because um, I'm trying to get my hair to grow out in front. So um, what I did, I actually um, took some human hair on the track, just some regular human hair on the track, and I just pinned it in, as you can see. You can see the pins on my head. I just pinned it across, and um, I clipped the ends of it and run, ran the flat iron through. So it might not be even. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not a professional, so I don't really know how to cut hair. But I did the best I could. So I tried to get as even as possible across the front. So I uh, cut it even across the front, and that's basically all I did. I just took the flat iron through it again to give it a little bump. I like the little curl, like bump too. So that's basically all I did. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is I have this half wig and. I know somebody gonna ask me what the name of it is. I don't really remember what the name of it is, but I think I still have a card. Um, this is one of the cards that was in there here. And this is the little cardboard that was on top. It's, uh, it says Easy On Top 03, and the color is number two. And it's by I think that's the name of Easy. I don't know what company it's by. I guess it's by the company Manhattan Style, I think. And this is the card that was on there. Yeah. So the half wig, um, it has two clips in the front of it. It has two clips in the front. And then it has two smaller cones in the bag. These are the cones. Oh, this is by Juni Fashion. I see it on the inside. That's the tag that's on the inside. Of it. This is a uh, synthetic wig, of course. So, what I'm going to do is, next, I know you wonder how I'm going to put a half wig on my head, but it, trust me, I tried it last night. It works out fine. Um, also, let me say this too. If you don't want to, if you don't have a half wig, you don't want to use a half wig, um, and your hair is long and thick enough, which I was going to use just my hair, but I didn't feel like going through curling my hair and rolling and setting my hair up. Yeah. So like I was saying, you can uh, pull the hair up in the top and take some human hair on the track and wrap it around your hair and curl it and then pull the curls apart and you can get the same effect from doing that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the half of it and I'm try to estimate where I want it and clip it in. Now, I'm putting it in backwards. I'm putting the clips in the back of my head. I'm putting the clips in the back this time. And I'm going to put the cones in the front of my head. Now, I'm going to secure this in with some uh, thin bobbin pins because I'm not stretching the hair that far. So, uh, it won't be tight in the top like it's supposed to be. And I'll probably have to do this in the mirror. So you can see how it looks right now. It looks all crazy. But next what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, and I'll probably use quite a bit of these to secure this in here some of these little thin hairpins like this, the little thin ones, like that, 
they're really thin and I'm just gonna um, secure it in. I can't see what I'm doing so I probably have to do this in the other room. But I'll just put a few in to show you what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna secure it in. And it's like a little binding around the half of it that I'm uh, actually pinning down. So I'm just going to do that all the way around the half of it. And I'm just going to shape the hair and pin it down. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so let me take my camera down just a touch. Okay, yeah, so I did it already. And I turned around. I pinned her or her down, kind of. And I turned around behind as you see. And the little ball that I had in the top, I pulled some of the hair up and I just stuck the hair pin down in it. It was easy to stick in since it was, it was some of the little thin hair pins like this. So next what I'm going to do is, I probably shape this a, uh, down a little bit more. But the next thing I want to do, I took some hair and I braided it. And I put a rubber band on each end of it, as you can see. And it needs to be actually a little bit longer than this, so I'm going to have to pull this really tight for it to be long enough to fit. And I'm going to start off by... I can't really see very good in this mirror, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do, and then I'll go fix it, because I'm sure I'm going to have to adjust it in the mirror. So I'm just going to take some little thin bottom pins, and I'm just going to take the hair off. And I'm going to pin it really, really good. I'm going to put the hair pins all the way around, but right now I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'll turn right. And I'm just going to take it, and right on the end, edge of where the curls are, I'm just going to take it and pin it all the way around, right there. You can see the braid at the top of it. So I'm going to do that in the bathroom because I'm going to have to squish it together to get the, to make sure the braid is long enough. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'll be back and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay. Okay, so I finished um, my hair and this is what it looks like. And I turn around behind. You can't really see the braid that much in the front. But around the back and the side. So that's basically it. Uh, next, I'll spray just a little bit of the Chi Shine Infusion on it. That's what I use. I'm just going to spray just a little. I already sprayed some on my bangs, so I didn't spray any this time. And that is basically it. So, yeah. So that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting dressed and then I'll come back and show you the final, final results of everything. Um, also, I want to apologize for the light. It looks like it's going to rain today and I normally use the outside light if the light is not very good in this video. I normally use the outside light when I'm making my videos and it's dark today so that's why it's kind of dark and I'm using lamps but it doesn't seem to be doing any good. But anyway, hopefully um, I'll try to figure out something soon. If you have any suggestions about when it's dark outside. <laughs> And the lighting sucks when you make videos. Please let me know. So that's basically it. Um, and I will talk to you later. Till then, take care.